Hey guys, so I thought about doing this video after I had already prepared the chili, but I figured I would tell you exactly how I make um, my homemade chili. So I start out with a pound of just ground beef. I buy 93.7% um, meat because I don't care for, you know, all the extra fat that's in it, but I put, I put that raw in my crock pot. And then um, to that, I added this can this um, package of Brooks Secret Chili Seasoning. Uh, I've actually never used this, so it's mm, something I'm gonna try. But I put that. I okay, sorry. So I put the ground beef in there. Then I poured two thirds cup of water in there with the ground beef, and then I poured this down on top of the um, the ground beef. To that, I added this big can, 40 ounces of Brooks Chili Mild Beans, and an extra can of light kidney um, beans as well to that. Um, and then I took my whisk and I whisked that all together to get that consistency. I added, um, I don't know exactly how much ketchup, but I squirted some ketchup in there all on the top of it. Um, I added about three tablespoons of just white sugar down to that because I kind of like a sweet, um, not super sweet, but like a little bit of a sweetness to my chili. And then I added some Worcestershire sauce as well. Um, I'm going to let that go on high. I have it set to high. I did that probably about, I don't know, 12, 15, maybe 12, 12 or so. So I'm going to let that cook pretty much all day. And then uh, after a while, I'm going to chop up this onion and put that in there. Probably, I'll probably cut it in half and just do like slices like that. And then I got a jalapeno um, for my husband because he likes, he likes a little heat to his, but you know, I don't care for heat. And then our five-year-old, he doesn't like spicy anything. So um, I figured I'd cut that up for him and he can put it on top of that. So it's a chilly day today, so I figured chilly, <laughs> chilly would be a good day for a chili. <laughs> um, so this is all that I use. Like I said, all of this plus Worcestershire and white sugar and some ketchup. And then once that cooks, I'm gonna keep. Well, I'm gonna keep whisking it um, to make sure that this gets you know super um, fine, like the ground beef does and everything. And I let that cook on high. For pretty much all day and um, go from there and then serve it up with some cheese on top of it and I'm gonna make some I'm actually gonna make some bread I bought this so I figured I would try to make some bread some homemade bread well kind of homemade I guess you would call that but I've never made this so I hope it turns out good I have to let it sit I think for two hours um, yeah, for it to double two hours and then let it sit for 45 minutes and then cook it for 25 to 30 minutes. So I figured that would be good. Usually I make cornbread, but I figured this would be a, a good little thing to make with the chili. So, um, I will leave everything that I make my chili with in the description and I hope you guys like this little you know recipe video um, and I will talk to you guys next time bye